Matt Lenehan for Boxing Social in association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. Delighted as always to be joined by Barry Jones, but especially in Las Vegas, Nevada for Errol Spence, Terence Crawford. What a fight, just talk to me about this fight, they're about to get weighed in. This is a special, special fight. It's a it's, it's fight I'm absolutely buzzing for. And, and if anyone weren't, I think that press conference was enough to tip you over the edge. I thought it was, it was for me, I thought it was spiteful without being too over the top. And I just think that, you know, this is, for me, this is the most significant. It won't be the biggest fight, because it won't go beyond like the heavyweights out of the outer, outside of boxing. But within boxing, this is the biggest fight since Canelo Golovkin. Big, what about the biggest fight? The biggest fight since May with a Pacquiao? Well, I, that far? I, but that fight for me was tarnished by how long it went, how, how, how long it took. Yeah, and, 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 the, and the age they were, and there was a clear, there was a clear, I always, I always thought maybe it was the favourite. There was talk at one point that Pacquiao could have beat Mayweather. I never thought that, but they were. But then by that by that stage, I think Pacquiao's demise was bigger than Mayweather. So I think the, the Canelo Golovkin, two no, two guys in the top ten pound for pound, but no, both on a real roll. With a favourite, but was, you could make a, a case for either one. And it lived up to expectations. So for me, this is the, the biggest one since then. So who do you give the edge to in this fight? People talk about the accolades of Terence Crawford, the multi-weight, the fighter of the year. Errol Spence, king of this division for a long time, got the great resume of fighters stacked, took all the other belts. Who do you give the edge to? Who do you think comes away victorious this Saturday? I think Crawford. Uh, he got more ways to win. But I would say one thing, what Spence does really well is all he does. But, that, but he does it so well that it's always enough. And what he does well will cause Crawford plenty of problems. It's the wrong style for Crawford. You think people who punch straight would suit Crawford, but the weight in the shots and the way he steps behind him and maintains the length in his punches, Errol Spence, will cause Crawford a real problem to counter attack, which he does so well. But I still think ultimately that, that for me Crawford will find a way with more athleticism in his work and I think, yeah, and despite his punches, I think he goes away a winner. Talk to me quickly about Conor Venn News today. He's put a statement out saying Newcastle's cleared. What are your thoughts on that? Well, if it's true, because again, I, I'm not 100% sure, then it's great. Because he's vindicated himself and he's and, and he'll be back. And it was always good to watch Conor, of course. And it was exciting nights when he fought. And he was on a roll. But until we get a statement from all parties, I think we should just hold fire a little bit. I spoke to Freddie Roach the other day and he said Manny Pacquiao is going to come back for one more. I said, is an exhibition or a real fight? He said, real fight. He said that fight is still in him and he wants to come back. Do you think with, you know, Conor Ben's been out of the ring a long time, they'll look at maybe that fight. It's, they were talking about it once before. But... Well, it's a perfect fight for him, isn't it? You know, a guy, a, a, a name, a legend, one of the best, greatest, fight, greatest fighters ever in the history of the sport, one of them, and, but, a, but a faded version and a massively faded version. A, a fight that Conor can still lose, by the way. I'm not saying, you know, but it's, yeah, I don't want. I, why is he fighting for Pacquiao? He got all the money in the world. He's done everything that any boxer would ever want to do. Can I quickly get your opinion on Anthony Joshua's comments in relation to Rob McCracken? We know he's now with Derek James, who's with Errol Spence and a plethora of fighters. But he seemed to sort of say, "Look, my best days were with Rob, and I need to try and get them back." Are you a bit surprised at these comments that he sort of thrown that way? I am a little bit, but you know, I think when you're always searching for reasons why things are not working for you, and it's sometimes easy to blame other people. I would say one thing though about about Joshua, we all complained for years that he was too media trained. He gave us nothing, you know. <laughs> and now, you no, know, where's the street kid? Be real. Now he's real. He's too street for everyone, and and, and no one likes his comments. So he can't win sometimes. I wouldn't say that much, but also I I think Ronald Cragen was good for him. I would say that. Correct. So, Barry, I appreciate your time. I know you've got work to do here. So have we. We'll catch back to this fight. I see you, Matt. Thanks, mate.